Hello, hello, and welcome back to Dead of the Brain 2. How's everybody doing? We are back, and this is going to be the final episode. Um, when we left off, I was out in the rain. And, um, boy, those shadows in the background are really kind of creepy, actually. Uh, we were out in the rain in a previous episode, and I just stepped into this old run-down building and observed downstairs. There wasn't really much to look at, and then we went to the second floor. And here we are on the second floor, and there are some creepy shadows. And apparently these are some members of the Bloody Fox Gang. This is their hangout. And we're going to figure out, you know, how they got their hands on the purple sky drug and the serum and everything. And Daniel's involvement and who this Sajiru person is. So we're going to move up front. Don't move, guys. So this is Buraya. If you remember from that quiz and from the beginning, he's the kind of leader of the uh, Bloody Fox, you know, gang. Which uh, I'm surprised there's any members left at all, because most of them are zombies, shot themselves up with heroin, which is a good lesson. Don't shoot yourself up with heroin, because you will probably become a zombie. Daniel? So, I guess, uh... I don't know. Seems like Daniel was just kind of the scapegoat or something, and this Jiro person is... Um... The main... You know, distributor, villain, blah, blah, blah. And Daniel was just sort of a go-between. Not sure. The story is pretty complex. If any of you... If any of you know, who who is Jiro? Because I know that he's the person in the very beginning. You know, when this game started, there was a scene with a creepy man over the... Uh, oh. Gun to my head, huh? My BF boyfriend is here with a gun to my head. But yeah, like, uh, Jiru was there in the beginning, you know, hovering over Ghoul, the android. And, yeah, they just had to make this game pretty complex with all the characters and interactions. <laughs> That's a pretty cool animation for 1993. Steve just threw his gun down there. And Cole is like, yeah, do you really think I'd have bullets in my gun? Because apparently the gun that's being held to my head is Cole's. Oh, and I got three seconds to... Oh, uh, yeah, punch him in the face. Fooled you. Uh, 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 uh. Guess what? There are bullets in the gun. Dude. I'm just like using this guy as a meat shield. That sucks. Sucks for the bad guys. Okay, and it looks like we got Briya with a headshot. So all that's left is the girl. And we're asking her, where is Jiru? Yeah, somebody in the comments, please tell me who Jiru is. Is that somebody from the first game? Like, was that like one of the scientists? Oh, dude, but let's just, yeah, this must be near the end of the game because we are killing everybody. Back to the first floor because she said there was no way to get to the third floor. Yeah, I keep getting interrupted here, but yeah, I don't know who Jiro is. If that was like a scientist in that photo from the first game that was a friend of Doc's, or 
Yeah, I don't know who that is. I know who Gur is, of course. Um, Ghoul is the brother of Steve, who's here with us. And um, the android body that he was in in the first game. But apparently Jiru, you know, repaired him and brought him back to life or something. Hey, hey, there is a secret door against the staircase. So we are heading down into a creepy lab. Yep, this is going to have to be the final showdown. Oh. Jiru ka. Dr. Jiru. No King Q. Hey, yokoso, ofutari san. Welcome to Dr. Jiru's lab. So I don't know who this guy is. Like, how is this guy related to the story, really? I mean, he was in the very beginning. And now he's here at the very end. I didn't know. Oh, he's got a copy of Doc's notes about the serum. And I guess he was experimenting with it by mixing it with other chemicals and distributing it to the populace. What a jerk. I think the whole Android thing with Guru was just a side project. So let the games begin, he says. And the door opens, and we have Catherine. Catherine, Shindi na, Shindi nakatta. Taskete, Steve san. Help me, Steve. Wait a second. Why is she going to Steve? Thought she kind of liked Cole, me. <laughs> and wait, she's dead anyway, so. Steve, look out! Oh, lovely. Just bite into the neck. So, yeah, it's not. Oh, great. Three seconds. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot. Guru or uh, Jiro, Jiro in the head here. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't work. Okay, sadly I had to shoot Catherine. I, I don't know. This must be some kind of fake Catherine or something, with a really fast-acting version of the zombie serum that, yeah. Her skin melted off pretty quick. I guess he is uh, experimenting with a more potent version. But I have no clue why he would have, you know, a Catherine here. Is that a clone or something? It's not really explained how he got a Catherine here to attack us, because we left her. Uh, back at the safe house, whatever, and the other door opens. And epic music. Catherine Zombie wasn't enough. Now we face Terminator. He definitely came back. The second time to face... Face him. But uh, this time, it's it's cool. He uh, he's got some upgrades apparently, better lasers, better armor. And now Jiro wants him to get revenge. Says you can now take your revenge on Cole for kicking your butt in the first game, which we did by stuffing a grenade in his mouth, as I remember. This is the Saigo no Show. Alright, here we go, final showdown. That's cool, some steam comes off the light, and looks like one hit for Ghoul, zero for Cole.
cool is like, I thought that time we completely destroyed him, but apparently the brain got extracted. And Jiro put the brain in this new one, and bullets don't seem to affect it. Ghoul's new body, even uh, missiles, won't work against it. That's kind of a cool uh, angle. So Ghoul has picked us up and holding Cole by the neck. Steve yelled, you know, stop, don't do it. Brother, it's me, Steve. Steve, come on, Steve. You can do it. Stop it. Onegaida, I'm begging you. It's impossible. He only listens to my commands. And if he does otherwise, uh, he is... Apparently Jill has rigged some kind of explosive... Dude, now he's attacking his own brother. Uh, Jill put some kind of explosive in Ghoul's brain. So that uh, if he doesn't follow orders, uh, it'll detonate and kill him. Blow his brains out from the suit, so he has to do what Jill says. But at the moment, he is not strangling us to death, just holding us here. It's like, well, so he's sort of not following commands here. It's like, so if you won't do it, then I'll inject Steve with the serum, make him a zombie, and then you'll be Cole, you'll be killed by your own zombie friend. How ironic to be killed by your own friend. Yamero! Don't do it! Ghoul, wake up! So apparently Ghoul remembers his brother. Oh yeah. Grabs Jill. That's what happens. You don't... Uh, Oh, yeah, let's just shoot a bunch of laser holes in him. That'll do it. But yeah, by disobeying orders... Um, oh, there is eyes are blinking and go out. They go out there. The detonator went off and exploded his brain. And that's the end of the two villains. Arigato, Gur. Gur has saved us, sort of. Oh, what the heck? Come on, when is this going to be over? So yeah, apparently Jiro is immortal. I don't know how much of that drug he's shot himself up with. Oh, there's some more of it. Oh, that's the one he was going to use on Steve. It's out there on the ground. The fast acting one, apparently. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty disturbing. We'll just stuff it into his good eye. This game has a theme going of, yeah, stuff in the eyeball. That's that's how to take care of zombies, apparently. And yeah, that was pretty fast-acting uh, serum. Get that book, destroy it. Something. End this nightmare already. Forever. That says forever, by the way, in Japanese. So, hey, that's the end of Dead of the Brain 2. 
for the PC Engine. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, playthrough, and I hope it helped some of you that maybe if you want to try this game sometime. Um, I, I think the first one was better. I don't know, I just, I had fun playing the first one, but this one was just really long-winded. Like, there was just so much dialogue to get through. The, you know, the story was incredibly complex, and just a lot and lot of talking, of course. Um, you know, by cutting a bunch of it out, I made the episodes quite a bit shorter, but it was just really long-winded. But overall, kind of a neat, uh, classic, you know, old-style horror story adventure game, I guess I should say. Um, I mean, the, the graphics and stuff are pretty good for being 1993, for being such an old game. And it's kind of the birth of quick time events. You know, I noticed a lot of the, you know, the events, they feel kind of like a quick time event where you gotta, you know, quickly click somewhere, find a weak spot, do something, and you got a countdown. And then quick time events kind of evolved from there. But yeah, this should give us the uh, good ending. Um, I was reading there are two endings to this game, and you know, the it's not a really big deal. Just uh, the good ending has uh, Shira at the end, and the bad has her uh, as a zombie dying. So we're getting the good ending, hopefully. We'll see. I got my fingers crossed. Pretty sure I did everything right. Asada. It's morning. You can hear a helicopter in the distance. Oh yeah, now the reinforcements arrive. And where did that laser hole go? He was shot like through the chest pretty much with a laser. I don't see that hole anymore. Catherine died. He yeah, has just like the part one. Everybody died. Except for Cole and Shira. They're like the only two survivors in this apocalypse every time. Shira. Shira, you're okay. You're healed. Thank goodness. What happened in there? It doesn't matter. Let's go. That's not fair. Tell me. Alright, everybody. That's the end of the game. That was Dead of the Brain 2. Uh, PC Engine Turbo Duo version. Hope you enjoyed. Um... You know, not the most exciting game, but hey, it's, I guess, one of those classics that probably has a cult following. I really didn't find much information online about it, so I'm happy to upload these videos so that somebody else that's never played it could enjoy seeing what it's like from start to finish. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. And just watch out for peddlers on the street offering you something called purple sky because it's definitely something you don't want to try trust me arigato matane minasan